How you doing, bro? I mean, I know you kind of been going through it ever since you flamed out spectacularly in that tournament. You auditioning for Top Takes Daily? You need to come more provocative than that, homie. All right, well, how about you are a disgrace to basketball, you care more about your YouTube career than you'll ever care about hooping, and you're ugly. First of all, I'm not ugly, and just because you call yourself pretty don't mean it's true, homie. You're right. My face makes it true. Oh, okay. Nah, for real, come on, you gotta just admit this. You're the athlete, and I am the brains, heart, soul, and face of this entire operation. I mean, the facts is just the facts. Bruh, stay modest. <laughs> for real, man, how you feeling? I mean, I know you don't really like to talk after you lose, so. No, obviously, I, I didn't expect stuff to end like this, man. You know, I still got a, I got a lot of ball left in me. So I'm about to sit up here and cry about it. It's whatever. That's the only way to live life, bro. Yeah, facts. Hey, look, since we're on the topic, you've been thinking at all about next steps? I mean, you know I always got ideas, but I just, I want to know where your head's at right now. So what about the G League? I think it's a solid option, to be honest. But you think I should skip the draft, though? Nah, I don't know. I mean, it's tough, man. Because the position you're in right now, you could go to someone that just wants to use you as a trade ship or unexpectedly ends up with a second late in the night, and they're just like, let me take a shot because maybe you can sell some merch. So I can, I, can, I can wind up in a bad situation, yeah. Yeah, you could. Or it could be great. I mean, look at Emmanuel quickly. Everybody thought he was going second, got drafted by the Knicks in the first, and he just took off. Yeah, but I'm not getting drafted in the first round, bro. Yeah, probably not. Look, and this is why I want to go to the G League. I think that would be the best situation for me. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you prove yourself there, you can get scooped up by a team at any time. Yeah, you're still a young prospect, too, so there's a lot of untapped upside there. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot to think about, man. Yeah, you do. But you also got a lot of people who care about you. So don't feel like you got to make this decision on your own. Hey, yo, for sure. I appreciate you, bro. When you ready to make moves, let me know. Hey. You made a decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? This is what, kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on, tell me what you want to do. Hey, I want to go to the G. The G! Hey, wait, you excited? Yeah, man. Look, whatever you want to choose, I'm behind you 100%. Man, you look, I'm, I just thought you was going to be upset that I don't want to declare for the draft right now. Ah, man, you got to take whatever path is right for you. And I'm always going to support you. That'll never change. Come on, man, it's way beyond basketball. You getting misty-eyed, bro? <laughs> Shut up, bro. Hey, look, I love you, Rick! Yeah, yeah, you say so. Hey, get out of here. I'm gonna make some calls, set some things up, and when you come back, we'll talk next steps. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Yo, what's up? How you feeling, bro? You ready to start living that professional life? Hey, you think my mama still bring us dinner every now and then? We're about to start living our dreams, and you still think about your mom's Have cooking? Have you tasted what you be cooking in here? Yo, she making pork chops tonight. You know you love her pork chops. Honestly, no offense, but you need to get your head in the game. You need to start thinking about juggling practice and meetings, interviews. Interviews? What do you mean interviews? I'm here to play ball. That other stuff, that's gonna have to work itself out. Okay, but it won't just work itself out. Look, man, you and I both know you're not going to play on Ignite forever, which means you only got a little window to soak up all you can, both on and off the court. Yeah, yeah, you're right, all right? I'm going to do whatever I got to do to be the best player that I can be, but I just need you to tell me what to do off the court, and I'm going to do it, like we always did. Okay. What's different? It's not going to work like that because we're not in high school no more, man. This is the start of, like, real life. Look, it's time that both of us figure it out what we really want to do. All right, that's going to come with some life decisions. All right, look, I can give you advice, but when it comes to making those decisions about who you want to be and who you don't want to be, only you can make that choice. Yeah. Look, yeah. check in with your media center more often, too. I mean, if you want to talk about making decisions, that thing's going to be a lifesaver. I loaded up all the things with your daily tasks so you can figure out what you need to be doing. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need you for, baby. <laughs> I appreciate you. Just doing my job, man. 
talking about my cooking.